Well, for Father's Day, my wife and my daughter got me Under Armour to help protect that plastic fan underneath underneath here. Uh, Kubota on this model, this is a BX24D 2014. They did put in this plate here which um, helps maybe some but as you can see it's still exposed. I've actually pulled a stick that ran right up in through there and uh, got wedged up in there. Thank goodness it did not hit the fan and uh, break off some of those blades. So I've got the uh, Under Armour. I'm going to install it today. I'm going to be doing a lot more brush, um, you know, clearing. And so I've always been uh, very hesitant to do it because of the risk of a stick just going up in there and breaking the blades off of, off of the fan. And I also got a uh, Piranha tooth bar, which I'll be installing today as well. Okay, we're underneath the tractor. And um, the install instructions tell us to measure from this spring. This, what do they call that? Measure forward from the mower mounting spring pins. So from here, and I'm assuming this is the mower mounting spring pins. It says measure about 16 and a quarter inches forward. I did that. And found some holes in the existing frame that we are going to use. And that's where we install the supplied bushing bolt bushing washers and then we'll do the same thing on the other side okay next the instructions discuss lowering my mower to about the two inch height and then use the mower mount lock it into the open position so that's what I've done here I've never had a mid mount mower on here so Kind of figuring it out as we go it's locked in the open position i've done that on both sides we will then slip the under armor those hooks here up on the, the bushings we just placed in and then uh, looks like the mower mount springs clip in. So we'll try and go ahead and do that now. Okay, we have the Under Armour on. Yep. The Under Armour is slid up over those bushings and then attached to the mower deck springs. We are then instructed to raise it up, set the knob to the top position so that it cannot get lowered down. Because as you can see, if you put it in reverse with it in a lowered position, it could catch and probably tear, tear that arm up pretty good. So I'm going to raise it up and um, show you guys what it looks like as an end product.
it does appear to have closed off all those gaps. Protects that hydraulic fluid filter as well as some of the, I think I saw one or two of the fuel fil filters. Be able to have a little peace of mind when I'm clearing some brush. Thanks for watching. Okay, something else that might be of interest for some of you is that once I put the Under Armour on, I was and I went to raise it up to the top position. You're supposed to set your knob to top so that it will lock it out at the top position so that if you do have a rear implement on you lower that down in the back your mid mount mower and your under armor would stay up. just to kind of show you here it stays up it wouldn't lower well I was having trouble turning my knob to the lock position I was able to get it to four but not to top went on to tractor by net did a little research and it, it confirmed what I was uh, suspecting is that it was not allowing it to reach the top position or my setting in the back um, was not allowing it and so what I did and what I read on there was to adjust this little knob behind or next to your left rear tire you turn that in to um, a lot to raise it up higher so that's what I did and what I noticed as I um, then would raise it up it looked like it was even flexing the under armor underneath bending it and a lot getting it up to the position so it did um, bend it just a little bit and to the shape of the tractor underneath and then I was able to get it into the top position um, and now it's locked there I can use my rear implement I can lower it down all the way and just to show you and bring that down all the way and my under armor is staying up protecting that underside so anyone else installing that if you run into that that's what I did to fix it I'd like to just say thank you for watching my video if you like videos on the Kubota BX25D, then please subscribe to the channel. I'm put, putting up videos of work that I do with mine using different implements that I've uh, gotten and uh, just trying to use on my little homestead. And by no means am I an expert. I just like playing in the dirt. My mom asked me uh, one time, Garrett, why don't you... Uh, do something relaxing. I said, Mom, this is, I'm just reliving my childhood, playing in the dirt. I mean, this is the stuff I did. Now I'm just older, have some bigger toys. So, anyways, if you want to come play with me, <laughs> that sounded funny, sorry. Um, playing the dirt, then uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like what you're uh, seeing, uh, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. That lets me know. These are the types of videos that uh, people want to see. Uh, go ahead and comment as well if you have questions or if you have things that you've done with yours. I, I'd love to hear about it. Um, just get some of that dialogue. Now I am pretty much uh, just working by myself out, out in the yard and stuff. And so um, any input I can get from uh, my fellow man or woman, I'd appreciate it. And, and any of that dialogue. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.